Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, guys. So, um, whew, there is a lot. I feel like I just got like a download of information and it was just too much to convey to you guys. I'm, I should have started writing it down, but um, I was minding my business, right? <laughs> I was minding my business. And so um, God just started speaking to me about you guys. Um. Uh, and so the message that I got was get ready, okay? Like I said, get ready. It's like they need to start getting ready. And I'm like, get ready for what? God said that something is about to happen in your life. And this is going to be sooner rather than later. Um, there is something that's about to happen. You may have been feeling this. Like you may have been feeling like you just really can't explain it. Like a change, like a, ch a desperately in need of a change to take place. And I'm, and I feel like you feeling that desperate need, like something has to change in my life. Something has to give. Like, that's what I feel like. Like it's that type of an energy of like, if someone feeling like they're at that breaking point, like they have been struggling and, you know, experiencing, you know, hardship and adversity and just a lot of issues, a lot of drama and just tired of it and feeling like there is something in your life that needs to change because you can't keep going on feeling the way that you've been feeling. And that's what I was feeling. And God was saying, tell them to get ready because there is change on the horizon and it's going to be sooner rather than later. Um, so when I got that message, I had got up, I had got up and um, I went to go get the cards that I wanted to use. So in the, in the midst of God talking to me, uh, I don't really, you know, just to give you guys an idea, the way that I channel, I channel through audio like I hear um, and feelings. I have like, like, like I can feel a certain way. And you guys will hear me in my reading say, I feel this because that's how they're making me feel when they're channeling um, the information to deliver to you guys. And also visually, like I'm a visual too. So like even in the midst, like if in this reading, if I was to notice something um, going on, that's a part of the reading. Let's say I saw like a red a red piece of paper in there, you know, that would be a part of your reading. I could be like, oh, someone may be getting like a red note, you know, just using it as an example or a red shoe. I'm just making it up. But I'm just saying that to, to get you guys to understand how I channel. Meaning, so as I was preparing, while God was telling me to tell you guys to get ready, there was visual things that they were showing me. I saw a Texas license plate. So something is significant. I don't live in the state of Texas, okay? So um, I saw a state, a, a, a Texas state license plate. So that was something significant. So someone may need to get ready because of something pertaining to Texas. Maybe you're moving to Texas uh, or maybe you're moving from Texas. You will know because it's going to be different for um, those who that message is for. And what I also saw was two cars and they were parked right by each other and they were the exact same car, just different colors. And what God was making me feel like when I saw that was like an a, a energy of the yin and yang, his and hers, a power couple. And I feel like I, like, I felt like that's what I felt. It felt like a power couple that's about to be joined together, come to union together. So you're, some of you may be about to meet your soulmate or come into union with your soulmate. Because I feel like uh, I'm getting here like a power couple, yin and yang, balancing each other out. And I'm also feeling like you and this person are going to have a car and you're going to have a car that's the exact same car, just different colors, you and this person. All right, let's see. So God wanted me to do a reading. You know, get ready. Something is about to happen. All right, what message got for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? I'm feeling summer, summer season. Summer season. I feel like someone is going to get news. So maybe like a job offer or something. Or someone is just going to maybe quit a job and relocate. But I feel like you will get the news in the summer, but the actual move won't take place until like the fall, the end of the year, towards the end of the year. We got here cross. So we got here, it says destiny, spirituality, divine guidance. See, this is what I'm saying. You've been carrying your cross. 
um, see, emotional loss, sorrow, a duty. See, that's what I'm saying. You have been carrying this cross. You've been experiencing a lot of crisis, a lot of emotional loss. But your journey and your path is divinely guided. I'm seeing here a spiritual group of people. So I'm talking to those of you that are very spiritual and you know that the path that you're on is divinely orchestrated. So you know that, you know, if, despite experiencing all of this loss and experiencing so much sorrows, trials and tribulations, you are aware that your path is, has been divinely guided for you by God or with God. But there's a son here. You see, there's the sun. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. You're about to get a breakthrough from having to carry this heavy load. You've been carrying your cross and you're about to get relief. There's about to be a breakthrough. That's what that sun is saying. Look at, look at the window. Look outside that window. Look at how beautiful, pristine, bright it looks out there. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, your, your season of this... Sorrow, your season of sorrow and trials and tribulation is coming to an end. We got here Milky Way, networking, networking. It says marketing, social media, publicity, internet, fame. About to become very popular. Expand, you're about to grow. You see, your territory is about to be enlarged. The spotlight is about to be on you. People are about to see you be blessed. They saw you in your seasons of trials. They saw you at your low moments. Some saw you and didn't even help you. Some even are responsible for you. Some, the people that, some of the people that saw you are even responsible for what you went through and did nothing, right? They're about to see you start winning. And I feel like you're about to be connected because there's a whole bunch of people right here. You're about to be connected with a whole bunch of different people that's going to be a part of your soul group. These people coming into your life are being divinely guided into your life and also going to be people that are going to help you you reach this success that you're on your way to you see how you got here all these people and then look at how you got the milky way you got spirit right there shining a light saying i am about to send people in your life that are going to be a blessing okay you got people coming into your life that will be a blessing some of these people you would be partnering with some of these people are going to put you in the spotlight they want to see you succeed you're about to have a family, but this family that's going to be yours are not people that you're technically related to. This is your soul family that you're about to come into um, union with. Get ready. We got here stork. Yeah. And then snake. Interesting how that came out together, but it says transformation. It says transformation. So you guys think that this is a joke, get ready. And you're gonna, you may get tired of me saying that, but I keep hearing it. And, I, and if they keep telling me, I have to keep saying it, get ready. Because something is about to change in your life. Here comes transformation. There's two, two storks here. It says transformation. Didn't I tell you change? I told you that. So you see, this is real. Cause someone is having a hard time believing. I'm telling you, you saw the cards come out, change. Get ready. That's been the whole theme of what I've been telling you. Change is on this way. Renew. Look at here. After being restless, here comes a renewal in your life. Renovate. Change. Birth. Something new. Pregnancy. Slender. Tall. There's two. This is about something. A transformation is taking place with someone you were dealing with. And I feel like whoever this person is that you were dealing with, they were a snake. This was someone that was deceptive. This was someone that betrayed you. This was someone that was jealous. They backstabbed you, toxic. They gave you the silent treatment. We got seduction, sexuality, and counterproductive. But what does it say? A transformation. <sighs> okay, so that right there may be triggering for someone because here it is, you have someone that was a snake that was deceptive, someone that betrayed you, that has made a transformation, that has made a change. I'm seeing here what looks like the clock in the background. So this is telling me 
this I feel like time is ticking in the sense of this this union has taken a long time for you and this person to come into union but I also feel like there have been some delays time is of the essence is what I feel like there was some issue around time maybe you and this person got together at the wrong time obviously so because I'm seeing that this person had to undergo a transformation but why is God bringing this to the table why is God wanting you to know that someone that was deceptive someone that betrayed you and backstabbed you that has now changed coming into your life to reconcile with you. Why, 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 why do we need to know that? Let's ask God, why, 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 why do you want them to know about this person that was deceptive to them and that changed, that has now changed, that has now transformed? Why do they need to know about this, this person? Because I felt triggering. Oh, <laughs> oh, whoa, wow, okay, okay. What does it say? You guys see this. Forgiveness. This is why God wants you to know. This is not me, the happy cancer, tarot, telling you this. This is God saying, I want you to know that this person that was deceptive, this person that betrayed you has changed. Why I want you to know? Because I want you to forgive them. This isn't about being together. Some of you may be together. Some of you may move on from this person. But why you need to know that this person has changed? Because God is asking you to, co to consider. Okay, I'm going to say consider. But God is saying it's time to forgive this person. That is the message that I'm being given. It's time to forgive this person. Whoever this person is, they're secretly admiring you. And if you're not ready to forgive this person... That's your business. Okay, that's your business. Some of you will forgive this person. Some of you will receive that message and say, you know what? It is time for me to forgive this person. Others will say, nope, I can't forgive. And that is okay too. But I'm talking to those of you who this reading resonates with. And you will know, is it really time to forgive this person? Because I'm seeing time. I feel like this has been going on for quite some time. This issue with this person has been going on for quite some time. So you heard me ask God, why? Because it's time to forgive. And, uh, didn't I say this was triggering? Yep, you guys are, yeah, God is telling me you're getting triggered. And I said that. Change. Didn't I say that? Triggered. I told you guys that. I felt, so when I, I felt when this energy came out about this person, you instantly got triggered by it. And that's why I said, it's okay. Okay, this is not beat you up terror, and God is even being patient. But there are some who, because some people are not ready to forgive just yet. It hasn't been that long for some of you. But for others, like I say, you know who you are, where you know it's time to forgive whoever this person is. Because I'm here to tell you that they have changed, even though you still feel triggered by the connection. This person, again, we're seeing change come through twice. That's why when I said it, God said, let me, let me say it again. Because someone is feeling triggered. There has been a change in this person. This person has changed. So, understandably, you are triggered. You are feeling triggered. Honor your feelings. But know this, for those of you who this is for, this is someone that has changed. Something about a season is some, there's something about the um, spring. Something happened in the springtime. Well, we're still we're still kind of in spring, but uh, or are we? What's today's day? And I'm talking about the U.S. I don't know what season it is in other countries. Um, but uh, let's just I'm not gonna say seasons because I know it's different in other countries. Let's just say the last three to four months something happened. Something happened in this person's life over the last three to four months. Yeah, we got homecoming fair. Something happened where someone lives. Something happened in this person's house. Let's see, what happened? What happened in their home? There was some sort of change they're telling me. A change took place in their home. They're living. So they could have moved. 
or this person will be moving or there's been something that changed inside of their uh, living situation, a marriage. So for those of you that are dealing with someone that's married, there has been a change in that relationship. And I feel like it's something that happened uh, within the last three to four months, this change. So they could have broken up with someone or for others, they could have realized they want to marry someone. So if you're not dealing with someone that's already or someone that was married, then they've realized they want to marry someone. They want to have a home with someone. For others, I feel like um, if you are dealing with someone that is married, that marriage has changed. The status of that marriage has changed. I feel like there's been a breakup. That's why it came out in reverse. So this isn't some sort of good uh, feeling that they got from the situation. Yeah, see, <laughs> yeah, look at this. Bad health. Didn't I tell you it wasn't a good feeling? They got bad health. Yeah, it, the, it, the, whatever this change is, it affected their health. So I'm hearing that... Um, They could be, someone could be struggling with blood pressure or diabetes is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this happened three to four months ago. Three plus one is four. And then we got the three. Yeah, something happened three to four months ago with this person's life. And they had some sort of health issue too. They could have even been in the hospital or had some sort of health scare. Someone could have even had like heart issues, maybe had like some sort of anxiety or panic attack. Oh, I don't know if I want to say that. All right. Um, okay. So I, I, I just heard someone got poisoned. So I'll take that how it resonates. Like, and I feel like they got poisoned intentionally by someone else. Someone intentionally tried to make them sick. Yeah, they move. Yeah, the ending. Ten. Ten is the end. A journey. Yeah, they went on a journey with someone else and they're moving. Okay? We got here. Yeah, see, I told you a false person. Yeah, someone intentionally tried to poison them. And we got, see, concern. But look, wow. Yep. Yeah. I feel like someone intentionally tried to hurt them physically. Rather it was poison them, rather it was hit them, abuse them, like some false person, and look at here, concerned about it, intentionally tried to hurt them because of this journey, because of this change. That's why, I say, again, we got here the threes coming. This is a third party. We got three and three coming through again. So this could have happened three months ago. Where because this person packed up their stuff, and told someone that they were leaving, whoever they were living with, that person got mad and tried to do something damaging to them, physically damaging to them, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and move into the tarot for you guys. I wanna know more about um, the changes that's taking place within your life aside from uh, this person. What can you tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Thoughts. Okay, so yeah, look at here, wealthy man. So this is making me feel like you're thinking, thinking of some sort of way to expand, some sort of way to make money. You have someone that's going to help you. And I told you guys that with that social networking, I feel like you have some sort of business idea. You have some sort of skill set or some sort of business plan, something that you're trying to do when it comes to your career, when it comes to your profession, um, as a way to, as a means to make money. You have someone right here with this wealthy man, and this is going to be someone that I feel like is going to want to help you financially, want to invest in you. Or you're going to be linking up and partnering with someone wealthy. 
through some sort of social network. And that's why God is saying, get ready, get that business plan together. Whatever it is, whatever wealth idea that you have, whatever you're trying to do to accumulate abundance, success, be ready for the opportunity when it comes because you have some sort of opportunity that's on its way for you. It looks like not just with this though, but you also have someone um, that has changed that's, um, you know, it's time for some of you to forgive. We got lovers and again, marriage. We got lovers and marriage. Now see, I tried to move this away from, you know, the love part, but we're being brought back to it. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so now I'm getting here. We got two marriages coming through. So that means that some of you are dealing with someone that was married, but there's been a change in that marriage. And then the other part is that this is someone that wants to marry you. There is someone out here that's in love with you and want to marry you. I feel like they think about you a lot. Who is this wealthy man? It, oh, a secret admirer. Whoever this person is, they are sitting back watching you and admiring what you do. So some of you, you may be in the spotlight or you may be where other people can see, you know, whatever it is that you're doing and they admire you and what you do. This could also be someone that's in love with you too. That's interesting. I feel like whoever this wealthy man is, this is someone that is in love with you or will be someone that falls in love with you. Take it how it resonates, okay? But let's see. What do you want to tell us about this uh, wealthy man? We got here frequency coming through. You're manifesting them. You're manifesting them. That's what they want to tell you. That's why they're letting you know your thoughts Your thoughts is manifesting this person. So what are you thinking? Okay, so whatever it is that you want, that's what you're going to get. That's why I'm telling you guys. And I, if you haven't watched my other video, um, I think it was a video before this, maybe two videos ago. I talked about, you know, uh, writing down what you want as if you already have it in order to, you know, keep you focused on manifesting your goals. You are thinking about what it is that you want, whether you know it or not. If you're thinking good thoughts, great. If you're thinking bad thoughts, then it's going to just keep you stuck because you're not going to be moving or fully motivated to move in the direction that you need to move into to get away from what it is that you don't want if you're constantly focusing on it. So you're being encouraged because some of you already are on a frequency of where you're vibrating to where you're going to bring this wealthy man into your life. And I want to say this as a reminder um, for those of you that may have forgot or for those that may be watching for the first time, watch, see that, didn't y'all just hear that horn? If you didn't hear, that's God just saying, you know, they're telling me, yes, <laughs> that is it. So you're being reminded or you're being encouraged to watch what you're thinking about because you are a powerful manifester and you can attract and manifest whatever it is that you want just by thinking about it. So you, for those of you that are vibrating high, you're manifesting a wealthy man. And if you're not vibrating high, then this may encourage you to start doing so. Because you're about to, and that's why this this whole this why I keep telling you guys get ready, because you're about to this this is someone wealthy coming into your life, someone that has money, and this is someone that has good business acumen, like they are very business savvy, good with their money. I'm picking up an entrepreneur, someone that has multiple streams of income, or someone that's working really hard to have multiple streams of income. And this person is either in love with you or will fall in love with you after working with you. We got baby back. You got to, uh, hello celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. Y'all not gonna make fun of me and my singer. But y'all know that song. Celebrate good times. Come on. See, I I keep trying to get you guys to 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 understand this. You need to get ready, honey. 
you need to get ready. You know what this celebration is looking like? This is the 4th of July for me. Some of you, this is going to be the 4th of July. Look at those sparks, some fireworks. The 4th of July celebration, celebrating a union, the 4th of July. For some of you, this is going to be the 4th of July. You're going to be celebrating a union. Some of you may be going to a, a wedding. You may be going to a party on the 4th of July. And you're going to meet or reconnect with your soulmate. And you're, you're drawing it in just by what you're thinking about. Mm, look at that money finances I did and remember guys didn't I tell you guys this earlier but look you, you got money too both of you have money didn't I say a power couple I said that at the top of the read and remember I said his and hers or hers and hers or his and his take it how it resonates okay uh but this just makes me feel like you the yin and yang of you you and this person balance each other out you know what I'm saying but both of you are financially stable you got money just it's just following you it's going to be following you because your vibration is high i'm going to stop right there we're going to do an extended okay i'm going to continue to expound upon this energy of what's coming in towards you and also see what is going on with this wealthy man. We're going to look into who this wealthy man is. We want to know more about this person. What's going on in their life. What are they thinking about and feeling towards you. And again, what additional information God has for you guys that's coming in for you that you need to get ready for. So if you want more insight, come on over to the extended. The link is going to be in the description box. I'll catch you guys over there. Bye.